Hey guys, today we have another jacket battle showdown, this time between the Enlightened Equipment Toward Apex versus the Patagonia Micropuff. That's next. Welcome to Backcountry Renegade. I'm Jeff. This channel is all about hiking, backpacking, and overlanding, and all the gear in between. And if you're into those things too, consider subscribing. Today we are looking at two very popular ultra lightweight puffy jacket options for hiking and backpacking. The first one being the Enlightened Equipment Toward Apex jacket. The second being the Patagonia Micro Puff. Both these jackets are super popular for hikers. They're also ultra lightweight. They're made of synthetic insulation, both compressible and really cool options if you're looking for something to take out in the backcountry. The reason these two jackets stand out is they're both made out of synthetic insulation and ultra lightweight. And that is important if you find yourself in wet or moist environments because synthetic insulation does a lot better job in those conditions to maintain the loft compared to down. It's also a cheaper alternative to down, so it's a popular option. So both of these jackets are pretty popular for those things. And so we have the Torrid Apex and the Patagonia Micro Puff. Let's check them out in a little bit more detail. The Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex is a super popular jacket among avid backpackers. It is made of synthetic insulation and is known for its lightweight compressibility and no baffles. It comes in a hooded version only and it can be customized in many different types of denier uh, thickness and also different colors. It starts at $175, but you can also find it on sale every now and then on the Enlightened Equipment website. They also make a new pullover version where it features a half zip and also some pockets uh, in the front there. The Micro Puff is one of Patagonia's most popular jackets that is out there. It actually uh, features an insulation type that really mimics the qualities of down. It retails for $249 new, but I've recently found it on sale for as low as $149. It also comes in multiple sizes and colors, and it comes in either a hooded version or a non-hooded version. The one here that I have is the non-hooded version, uh, but this jacket is popular amongst avid backpackers as well because it is synthetic, so it does well in uh, wet conditions, uh, but it also provides one of the best warmth to weight ratios that Patagonia uh, makes out of all their jackets. Looking at these two jackets, we do find a lot of similarities between them. Uh, they both are lightweight and compressible. They're both made out of synthetic insulation, and so they're gonna, both gonna do well in cool, wet, or moist environments. They both have elastic cuffs. They both have an excellent uh, warmth to weight ratio. Uh, both these jackets can be used as a layer underneath a shell as well. And they both are windproof to an extent with the shell and uh, also can re repel water due to the DWR finish. Now let's look a little bit more in depth at the differences between the two jackets, starting with the shell fabric. The Torrid Apex here has an ultralight nylon fabric that features a DWR finish, so it can repel water to an extent. Now, the Torrid Apex is actually pretty unique in this regard in that you can customize the denier of the jacket. So you can go seven denier, 10 denier or 20 denier on the outside. You can also customize the inner denier, either 10 or seven denier. Uh, 20 really isn't an option for the inside because it's gonna feel really uh, tough against the skin and not be very breathable. Now, uh, it comes by default in either 10 and 10 denier on the outside and 10 denier on the inside. And that is what you see with this jacket here that you see uh, here on, on the example here. It has 10 denier uh, nylon on the outside and 10 denier on the inside. And I think this really provides really the best balance between weight and also durability. The seven denier is very thin. And while you save maybe half an ounce or an ounce or so um, in weight, if you go seven inside, seven outside, uh, you will uh, have a far less durable jacket. And so this, I think, is the perfect uh, balance between durability and weight. So something to consider. Another thing, if you do go with the seven denier, you will feel, it will feel softer against the skin, but if you're ever kind of sweaty or anything like that, it actually tends to stick to the skin a little bit more on the inside. So 10 denier on the inside and outside is the one that I have here. And it also comes by default if you don't customize your jacket. The Micro Puff features a 10 denier ripstop Pertex Quantum Nylon, which is also coated with a DWR 
Jaguar finish. Um, as a result, you look at both of these jackets, they're both super lightweight, durable, windproof to an extent, and water repellent to an extent. Tendineer, they both have on this, but you can get customized uh, to a lesser or thicker denier for the Torrid Apex. So that's pretty cool to have that option. No option like that for the Micropuff. Let's talk about the insulation. The insulation for the Torrid Apex features two ounces uh, per yard of Climate Shield Apex insulation. And so uh, it's a nice synthetic insulation that features throughout the jacket and into the hood as well. And so it has a really good uh, durability and it lasts a, a pretty a long time. Uh, it does maintain its loft for a certain extent, but like all synthetic jackets, over time, synthetic gradually deteriorate. The Micro Puff features 65 grams of plumophil insulation. Now, plumophil is actually like hair-like strands that resemble the feathers of down, and so it replicates that structure to provide similar warmth and compressibility. And uh, it's a pretty neat thing that you see. And um, both will maintain the loft when wet and uh, and to a certain extent. Now the one thing I found about the micro puff is every now and then you'll find like little hair like strands in some of the seams that's actually the insulation so sometimes that does come through so you will want to cut that you don't want to pull that because then you're pulling out insulation. However, both do a great job keeping you warm and we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the warmth category. Well, let's talk about the weight. As I mentioned, both these jackets are in the men's small. Now, the weight for the Torrid Apex will depend on the denier size that you get uh, for the jacket. As I said, you can customize it and the denier can vary. My version here is 10 denier outside, 10 denier inside. The weight of that is 7.75 ounces, which is uh, pretty good. Now, if you get something less denier, maybe seven on the inside, seven on the outside as well, that'll be 6.75 ounces. So you're saving almost an ounce there by going with thinner denier, uh, which you do have that as an option for the Torrid, which would a lot of people like that option, but you will have to really baby the jacket because it will be super delicate. But you do save some weight. Now the Micro Puff, on the other hand, uh, weighs 235 grams, or that's 8.3 ounces. So even with the tin denier inside and outside on the Torrid Apex, it takes the weight uh, category here, and it also has a hood. So pretty cool with how lightweight this Torrid Apex jacket is. Both jackets are relatively lightweight for the amount of warmth that they provide. Let's talk about the quilting pattern. The quilting pattern on the Torrid Apex, as you can see, really there is no quilting pattern. There's no baffles or anything uh, to keep uh, any insulation in place as well. And this is where the Torrid Apex really stands out. It's sheets of the synthetic Apex insulation here in all the areas, in the arms, in the hoods, and, and the sides and everything. And so these sheets actually have insulation throughout. So uh, that's a pretty cool thing. And uh, as a result, wind cannot penetrate through as easy and there's no cold spots where there seems. Uh, now compare that to the Micro Puff. They did their best to try and minimize stitching and they did this by doing horizontal seams. Now, if you compare it to the, uh, the other jacket that they have, the Nano Puff, uh, they actually have like cube kind of seams where they hold the insulation in. Now, the more seams or the more stitching you have, the less insulation you have where those stitching is. And therefore there's cold spots and it can actually, pen wind can penetrate through. So the Micro Puff sought to minimize that the best they could with these horizontal seams. And it actually does a really good job. But as you can see, it has more stitching than the Torrid Apex. And as a result, it does weigh a bit more because of the stitching. Plus, you also have some of those uh, cold spots where the Torrid Apex really has none of those because there's no seams. So pretty cool. In the category here with the quilting pattern or baffles here, the uh, Torrid Apex takes it for me. Now let's talk about the warmth. When you look at these two jackets, comparing them as you're wearing them, uh, as I'm uh, moving, I start to feel cold in the Torrid Apex around 24 degrees as I'm, as I'm walking or hiking. Um, now, if I'm sitting still, it's probably more closer to 29, 30 degrees, which is pretty amazing for a jacket like this because uh, the, the reason it's able to go that cold in, in a thin jacket like this is because 
there are no baffles, there's no seams, and all the insulation is around you. And so it really maintains its, its warmth. It is a warm jacket. Now the Micro Puff, on the other hand, when I was moving, I started to feel cold around 27 degrees. Uh, sitting still, on the other hand, was more about 34 degrees. And uh, so in this sense, the Torrid Apex is going to be a lot more of a warmer jacket because of the insulation is all around you and there's no seams. And as a result, because these are sheets, it's not gonna go through, or, like move or anything like that. So it actually does a pretty good job uh, maintaining the warmth. It is a really warm jacket. Now, if you get something that's seven to near, it will be a little bit uh, more breathable, but also wind can penetrate through a little bit easier. So 10 to near, I think is the perfect balance, which is why they go with the, that as the default. Now, I do really wanna try the seven near uh, inside and outside soon, and uh, I'll have an update on that, maybe compare that between the 10 denier and the seven denier in the future. Let's talk about the pockets. As you can see, both jackets have the typical front pockets here um, with zippers inside, and so that's pretty cool here. Now, uh, the Micro Puff has the pockets a little bit higher up as you can see, then the Torrid Apex. The Torrid Apex are a little bit uh, lower. As a result, um, as you're wearing a hip belt or maybe even a harness, uh, the, the harness and the hip belt will not interfere with the pockets if you're wearing the Micro Puff because the pockets are a little bit higher up. On the other hand, for the Torrid Apex, that is one of the downsides, is because they are a little bit lower. If you're wearing a hip belt, if you're wearing a harness or something like that, the bottom half of the pockets will kind of get interfered by that, but you can still fit your hands in your pockets fairly easy anyways. Let's talk about the inside pockets. Now opening up the Micro Puff here, you have these really cool uh, well pockets here that I can almost fit my whole arm in, which is, is pretty neat with some elastic on the top. They have it on both sides. This is really neat. If you you want to store goggles or maybe gloves or anything like that and there's no zippers or anything there so it doesn't really add to the weight it's just really uh, minimal material there but it's cool to have that as an option with the pockets opening up the torrid apex uh, there are no pockets inside it's as minimalistic as you're going to get but it provides you the warmth necessary so you do not have the luxury of the extra pockets on the inside, so something just to consider with that. All right, let's talk about the cuffs. Both these jackets have elastic cuffs here and they both do a relatively good job. Um, as you can see, the Micro Puff has some elastic here, but uh, it's, a, it's not as tight as the uh, Torrid Apex. The Torrid Apex really has some nice tight uh, elastic here and it can expand quite a bit. And uh, so anyways, they both do a great job, but uh, the, they're a little bit looser on the uh, micro puff. It might just be because I've worn the micro puff a long time and it's uh, maybe worn out a little bit, but uh, the uh, Torrid Apex is nice and fresh and real elasticy here. So uh, both have a, do a good job uh, keeping the wind out from uh, getting in under the sleeves. Let's talk about the hem draw cords. So opening up these jackets, you can see with the micro puff, there is no hem draw cord. You just have this elastic uh, strap on the bottom. And so you cannot tighten the jacket for the micro puff. Let's say if you're, you're there and you're at campsite and you want to prevent w uh, cold air from getting under your jacket or wind or anything like that, um, you have to rely on the elasticity of the bottom uh, area here. Now, if you compare that to the, uh, the uh, Torrid Apex here, you have also elastic here. And uh, the elastic here is, is, uh, does a sufficient job. It's uh, not going to uh, pile up or anything like that. And you don't have any drawstring cord there either. So you both have elastic in both of these jackets. And as a result, um, it does a sufficient job uh, keeping out the wind on both these jackets, but you do not have a way to tighten it any further if you did want to. Now, like I said, the Micro Puff uh, here is the non-hooded version. And the reason when I started uh, backpacking and stuff, I used these more as a mid-layer underneath the shell. And so I didn't really want all these different hoods on. But the more I started using, especially during the spring and summertime, I enjoyed the hood. So um, once I got the Torrid Apex using the hood, I really came to treasure hood hoods in uh, jackets now. And so 
It's uh, something here that you have with Tord Apex. It only comes in a hooded version. There's no non-hooded version here. As a result, uh, you do have a nice uh, insulation throughout the hood. And you can also see here right in the outside of the jackets, you do have these little uh, little stretch cords here that you can uh, tighten your hood around your face if you needed to do that. And then these little buttons here that uh, you can loosen it back up uh, to do so. Now, I don't have an example of the hood for the micro puff, but basically what it is, is you have a hood as well, and it's just elastic around the brim. So that's the extent of that. Now let's talk about compression. Compression wise, the Tord Apex can compress down pretty nicely. The only thing is it doesn't compress into its pocket. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you wanted to take this jacket, you can just really stuff it around in your in your bag pretty easily, but it's not gonna stuff down into its pocket, uh, but it still can compress pretty easily uh, as well. Now compare that to the Micro Puff, which does stuff into its uh, right jacket pocket, and you can tell that because it has this extra little cord here. So we're, let's uh, check that out and see how that compresses. Compress into its pocket, and as you can see, you can zip it up. And you also have this nice little uh, little uh, cord here where you can put it uh, to a uh, carabiner, to your harness, or even your uh, backpack or anything like that, hang it from the outside if you wanted. So you can see how nicely that compresses. Now the Torrid Apex, as we said, is not gonna be able to compress into its pocket. You can try, but uh, as a result, there is nothing that uh, is going to close it or anything, and the pockets are actually pretty small. So to be able to get the whole jacket in there, um, I haven't had much success with it, but uh, we're just gonna give it a try here and just check it out. Now, as you can see, you can maybe get it in there, but uh, you can't zip it up or anything like that. So uh, that's the extent of it right here. Um, but I do find it better by actually just compressing it on inside my pack and filling up any of the voids or anything like that with the Torrid Apex. As I said, both these jackets feature DWR finish, so they both can repel water to an extent, but don't rely on that if you get a heavy downpour or anything. Uh, they will be able to maintain its loft to an extent, but I would recommend putting on a shell because they're not completely waterproof. Now let's talk about the fit. Uh, both these jackets are what we would maybe consider a bit relaxed uh, than your typical slim fitter jackets. The, the I would say the Patagonia Micro Puff is a bit slimmer uh, trim fit than the Torrid Apex. Apex. Torrid Apex actually uh, is said to be half a size bigger than, than it typically uh, is because it's meant to layer, so you can layer underneath. So that's something to keep in mind. And as a result, as I was wearing it, I did feel that it was a bit baggy and a bit bulky, especially in the waist. And so there was just a lot more material in the waist area or, or right in the, the stomach area than what I really needed. So um, that was something that I could have done of with a little bit less there. Now the Micro Puff is relaxed, but it's definitely more trimmed than the uh, Torrid Apex. And in this regard, I really prefer the fit of the Micro Puff compared to the Torrid Apex. It is a much slimmer uh, fit than the Torrid Apex. And in that regard, I choose uh, the Micro Puff in terms of the fit. Let's talk about the style. Now, as you can see, these jackets are meant for hiking. They're meant for backpacking. They're not really meant to be wear worn around town. Both these jackets really aren't that stylish, I'd say. But if I had to choose between style, I would say I, I would go with the Micro Puff here. You have some of these horizontal seams, which is kind of cool. Now, if you're into maybe uh, this uh, no seam look that uh, the Torrid Apex has, uh, cool. It's, it's an excellent jacket for hiking in the mountains. I have no problem wearing it. I probably wouldn't want to wear this around town. It uh, actually looks like a trash bag. In fact, uh, the Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex, uh, they're known, uh, they, they call themselves a hiker trash because this looks like a trash bag, especially if you get the, the black version, which is why I went with the green version to avoid looking like a trash bag, but it does a great job uh, for what it does. Minimalistic, lightweight, uh, jacket that really is warm. So in, start, in terms of style, I would go with, uh, personally, I'd go with the Micro Puff and if I was just judging between style. So concluding thoughts, both these jackets are pretty amazing. They're ultra lightweight, they're synthetic, they're warm, and uh, they're compressible. And so you get a really good deal for the price you're paying with these jackets, especially if you can find them on sale. If you find yourself going in wet or moist conditions, 
I'm gonna take one of these two jackets. The Patagonia has been my go-to jacket for the last few seasons. Now, if I had to choose between these two, I'd have to say I would go with the Torrid Apex jacket. And the reason is because the pros really outweigh the cons. The first pro of the Torrid Apex jacket is it's actually lighter than the Micro Puff, which is actually pretty amazing if you compare it to other jackets that are similar in synthetic insulation like the Nano Puff. Uh, the Micro Puff was one of the lightest around. So this one here, the Torrid Apex, is even lighter than that, plus you have a hood. So pretty amazing at that. The second pro about this jacket is it's highly customizable. If you go to Enlighten Equipment website, you can customize this jacket from color to the size of denier and all this. Now this one is the basic one. It's 10 denier on the outside, 10 denier on the inside, and it's just the basic green. So I was happy with that one. However, you can do all different sorts of things from camo to yellow to pink, uh, you name it. Uh, I would like to eventually try the seven denier on the outside and inside. I hear it feels really good against the skin, but it's super delicate. But the cool thing is it's highly customizable where the micro puff is not. Now the third pro is the Torrid Apex is actually cheaper than the micro puff. The micro puff being $249 new, you can often find it on sale though. However, the Torrid Apex starts at 175, so pretty cool. Now, I recently got online and I was able to find some of these uh, online on the Enlightenment Equipment website for as low as 150 bucks. So uh, you can find these on sale every now and then. The fourth pro is that it is a warmer jacket than the Micro Puff. The Micro Puff has those horizontal seams. However, those still provide some cold spots where the wind can get through. The Torrid Apex has no seams, has no baffle, therefore no cold spots like the micro puff so it's a really warm jacket it does a better job at actually uh, reflecting out that wind so it doesn't penetrate through and so it you have sheets of insulation throughout and so it keeps you nice and warm and toasty even when you're sitting still at the campsite now let's consider the cons the first con for me is that this is a little bit bulky of a jacket it's not the slim fit or the trim fit like the micro puff can be. Uh, the Micro Puff does have a better fit. Um, but you can see that they, these do run half size bigger and the purpose is so you can layer. Now when I wear, go in the fall and I'm backpacking, this is my go-to jacket because it does a great job layering. So I'll typically put on my, my sun hoodie, I'll then put on my fleece and then I'll put this over that if I'm pretty cold so uh, that does a good job uh, allowing for the layering but it is a bit bulky as you can see in the in the waist kind of area there's a lot more room than I need there and that does add to the weight so it would be cool if they actually had a slim version or a trim version or athletic version uh, rather than this one size fits all kind of thing another con about this jacket is you kind of have to baby it. It is pretty fragile. Now, even being 10 denier, yes, that's the same denier as the Micro Puff. You would have to uh, be very careful with that anyways. But it does feel, because of the insulation, the lack of, of seams here, it does feel like if you rub up next to a tree or branch or something like that, you can e very easily puncture this. So just be very careful. I, I normally wear this uh, at my camp base and stuff when I'm not hiking, but uh, that is something to be aware of. It is a very delicate jacket, especially if you go with the to near. Another con about this is if you are using this to hike and you're using it near the skin, uh, it can feel a bit clammy inside because it's not as breathable uh, as some of the other jackets. And uh, so it does a good job keeping you nice and warm, but it's not very breathable. So you can feel a bit steamy on the inside at times. So something just to keep in mind. Another con is when you are putting on this jacket, sometimes uh, what I have found is that as I'm putting it on, sometimes you'll have some of this material come out with my hand in it. And so that can be a little bit annoying. You just kind of have to tuck it in. You can kind of already see that with this one. Just have to tuck it in there. Um, not a big deal, but it tends to stick to the skin a little bit, especially uh, as you put your hand in. I hear the, the thinner denier you get, the seven denier, it does it even more. So uh, just something to keep in mind. And uh, that is one other con about it. So what did you think of these two jackets? Which one won the jacket battle for you? Was it the Patagonia Micro Puff or the Torrid Apex jacket? Let me know in the comments your thoughts and which one you would go with. If you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe for more jacket battle content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.